Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you, Santos? Good, and you? I'm very well, thank you. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Hello, teacher. How is it going? Doing good. How about you? How are you doing? Ah, good, good, great. Oh, nice. Good to know. Yeah. Ready for the second day of the week. Always. Nice. That's excellent. <laughs> Very good. I have some people connected, but their cameras are up. Oh, we have Hilmar. Hi, Hilmar. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, very good, teacher. Nice. Oh, nice. Hi, Excellent. Teacher. Hello, Hi. Claudia. Good night. How are you? Fine. Good. How are you? Oh. <laughs> she disappeared. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good night, you? teacher. Hello, Hi. good. Hello, good evening, Irma. Welcome, bienvenida. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so I have. Uh, let me see. Five, ten, thirteen. Yeah, people connected. Tres conectados. Good. It's nice. It's eight one, and it's a good group. Hello, Sara. Mm. Hi, teacher. How do you feel? Uh, I feel so so. You feel so so. A little okay. tired, un poco cansada. Uh, cansada. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. You can say a little tired, okay? Un poco uh, cansada. Little okay. A little tired. <laughs> Hello, Marvin. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, nice. It's good. Yes. Hello, Liz. Hello. How are you today? So-so. Mm, So-so. Are you in your house or at work? In my house. In your house. Oh, my God. Yes. Your house <laughs> looks like an office. Su casa se mira como que es oficina. <laughs> right? Que dicen los demás, ¿verdad? Que se mira como que es oficina esa casa. <laughs> yeah, it looks look, like, look like, like an office. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. A little tired. Oh, I imagine. What mm. time did you finish work? Mm. I. At seven, at six. At, at six. At six. Oh yeah. Yes. Really late. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, so everybody, uh, was so welcome uh, to this class. Bienvenidos a la clase. Okay. Welcome to this class. And I guess we are uh, ready. Okay. We are ready for unit number two. So today uh, we start unit number two. Ahora empezamos la unidad número dos. We start unit number two. Uh, today, okay. Um, I just want to. I don't know. I just want to tell you something at the beginning, but let me pass the attendance. Primero pasaré la asistencia y luego hablaremos de algo de 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 cuando van a practicar a los grupos. Okay, when you practice in groups or in pairs. Okay, but now let's pass okay. the attendance. Aida Beatriz. Present. Blanca. Present. Carlos. Claudia. I am here. Very good. Ellen Nielsen? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Hilmar? Present teacher. Good. Irma? Present teacher. Javier? Jamie? Present teacher. Very good. Carla? Maria? Present. Very good. Mario? Present. 
Ah, it's not, you're not driving, Mario. Not today. Uh, right now, no, but maybe in... In a moment. <laughs> ten, 10 minutes more. Okay, okay. Uh, Marvin? Marvin? I saw Marvin. Ah, aquí. Okay, okay. Uh, Rafael? Presente. Very good. Robinson? Salma? Present teacher. Very good. Santos? Present teacher. Sara? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Liz? Present teacher. And Vanessa? And Vanessa? Creo que, creo que está congelada la pantalla de Vanessa, right? It's frozen, I think. Okay, but she's there. I can see her. Okay, uh, so I, as I said, uh, so welcome uh, to today's class. Bienvenidos a la clase de hoy. Welcome to today's class. Uh, remember, I always say that every class is a new opportunity to learn and to practice, okay? Cada clase es una nueva oportunidad para aprender o para practicar, okay? So let's take advantage and let's do it with the best attitude, okay? Así que aprovechemos y tomemos o tengamos la mejor actitud, okay? El aprendizaje también depende de mi actitud como, como, como estudiante, de la actitud que yo tengo, si tengo una actitud positiva, si me propongo y voy a aprender muchas cosas nuevas. Entonces, si tengo esa actitud, Eso cuenta muchísimo, okay? That's very, very important. Eso es muy importante, okay? That's very important. So, uh, welcome again, and maybe just some things quickly. Tal vez algunas cositas rápidamente, okay? Uh, veo que cuando van a practicar en grupos, when you practice in groups, a veces hay vocabulario un tanto básico, quizás, que podrían usar en, en inglés. Cositas que se dicen entre ustedes cuando practican con sus compañeros, okay? Um, Y si no lo hacen hasta ahorita, está bien, quizás, porque no han tenido como, quizás, eh, alguna instrucción de cómo pueden, pueden hacerlo desde el momento que yo sé que están en nivel básico todavía, en nivel principiante, ¿ok? Pero yo creo que es, nunca es tarde. It's never too late, ¿ok? Eh, he visto que a veces dicen, ahora me toca a mí, ¿ok? Cuando practican la conversación, ahora me toca a mí, ¿ok? En vez de decir, ahora me toca a mí, digamos, it's, y este vocabulario sí pueden escribirlo, es muy importante, ¿ok? It's my turn, es mi turno. Ahora me toca a mí, es mi turno. It's my turn, ¿ok? It's my turn. Good. Let's go to number two. Vamos a la número dos. Let's go to number two. Um, a veces eh, queremos decir esta otra frase, eh, yo empiezo o usted empieza. Ok, yo empiezo, usted empieza a practicar, ¿verdad? A practicar la, la, la conversación eh, o lo que van a practicar. En vez de decir yo empiezo, van a decir uh, I start, yo empiezo. I start. O oh, usted empieza, usted empieza. Quieren decirle a su compañero, you start, usted empieza. You start, ok. You start or I start. Yo empiezo, you start, usted empieza, ok. Very good. ¿Qué otro vocabulario usan? Yo les he escuchado algunas, pero ahorita no recuerdo. Otras que son comunes, ¿ok? Which are very common. Cuando van a practicar, ¿qué otra frase ocupan usualmente? Eh, teacher, también podría ser la, cuando uno quiere preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, ¿quién va después? ¿Si yo o usted? Ah, algo así? sí, ajá. ¿Quién sigue? Ajá, ¿quién es? ¿Quién va después? Vamos a poner entonces, who is the next? Who is next? ¿Quién sigue? ¿Ok? Who is next? All right, who is next? ¿Quién sigue? Como cuando son grupos de cuatro, ¿verdad? Que a ver quién sigue para, para hacer las preguntas o para practicar. Yeah, it's okay. Who is next? ¿Quién sigue? Who is next? Uh, ¿Otra que consideren ustedes que es común? Another one you consider is common? Por ejemplo, Rafael y luego toca? María. Rafael y luego María. Rafael. Adelante, ¿A quién, le ¿A quién le toca? 
who is next? Ajá, es como, ¿quién sigue? Ajá, es casi está relacionado. ¿Quién sigue o a quién le toca? Who is next? Uh -huh. Es casi okay. lo, lo mismo. The same intention, ¿ok? María. Uh, for example, when, when we... Uh... When we are uh, doing a, a list of sentences, and we have to complete with yeah. a verb, with a um, uh, auxiliary. Yeah. Uh, we we say, uh, uh, como puso. <laughs> ¿Cómo en la uno. ¿Cómo tiene la uno? Ah, ok. ¿Cómo tiene, ¿Cómo la, tiene la dos? Ajá, ¿qué tiene la número uno? ¿Qué tiene la número dos? Ya, yeah, sí. that's important. That's for, common. That's, this for to example, yesterday, uh, I, when we have to complete with how many and how much uh, in the group, yeah. we say that. Okay. Yeah. What do you have in... Number one, for example, okay? Y ahí le van cambiando exactly. el número, right? Le van cambiando el número. What do you have in number one? What do you have in number two? What do you have in number three? ¿Qué tienes en la número uno, en la número dos? What do you have, okay? What do you have in number one? What do you have in number two? What do you two. have in number three? Solo le cambian el número. Only change the, the number, okay? Only this. Okay, uh, so do we have another phrase? Maybe one more, tal vez una más. Maybe one more. Para tener cinco. No muchas, porque si no se nos van a olvidar. Okay, not so many. ¿Quién inicia? Um, ¿Quién no, inicia? Es, es, uh, ajá, es como la número dos, pero es como más preguntas. Mm, más, más preguntas. Es más como una pregunta. Entonces. Eh, yo diría, por ejemplo, a mí me ha tocado en, en pareja que a veces dicen... Eh, Permítame, voy a buscar el material o el libro. <laughs> ok, uh, esa, esa, uh -huh. maybe oh. we can say, uh, yeah, yeah, ya a vamos. moment o algo. Uh, wait a moment, espere, espere no, un wait momento. A wait a moment. Oh, wait, wait a, a moment. moment. Wait a, a moment, espere un momento. Wait a moment. Yeah, wait a moment, espere un momento porque estoy buscando el material. Ok, wait a moment. Mm -hmm. En la que decían de quién empieza... Cuando lo hago de forma, eh, cuando hablo, solo le doy el stress y suena como una pregunta, ¿ok? Y aunque no tenga la forma de pregunta. ¿I start? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. ¿you start? ¿You start? Uh -huh. ¿Or I start? ¿Ok? Y solo le doy la, la entonación correcta, ¿ok? Y suena como pregunta. It sounds like a question. Para que no tengamos demasiado vocabulario. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. ¿I start or you start? ¿Yo empiezo o tú empiezas? ¿I start or you start? ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's check the pronunciation, okay? Uh, let's see, number one, it's, it's my turn. It's my turn. Es mi turno. It's my, it's my turn. turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. I start, you start. Ah, uh, you say, I start, yo inicio. Pero si digo, I start, ya se vuelve como una pregunta, right? It becomes a question. Uh, you start, tú empiezas, you start. Pero si digo, you start, ya es una pregunta. It's a question because of the intonation, por la entonación. Okay? Uh, who is next? ¿Quién sigue? ¿Quién es el siguiente? Who is next? Who is next? Who? Who is next? Esa WH suena como una J. Who? Who is next? All right? Who is next? Uh, what do you have in number one? ¿Qué tienes en la número uno? Esto es para comparar oraciones. Okay? What do you have in number one? What do you have in number two? What do you have in number three? What do you have in number four, for example, or five, okay? Y la última, <clears throat> the last one, wait a moment, porque estoy ocupadito, tal vez, o alguien me habló en la familia, wait a moment, espera un momento, okay? O estoy buscando el material, wait, o wait a moment, wait a, wait a, ahí unimos los sonidos, wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment, okay? So, Hagan una captura si no, han tomo, si no han copiado para que tengan el vocabulario. So make a screenshot. O lo copian en su libreta. Ok. Ready? Yeah. ¿Listos? Ready? Yes. Ok. Uh, well, for me this is very important because 
English is about practice, ¿ok? El inglés se trata de práctica y si hay frases que yo uso comúnmente y las voy usando en inglés en vez de español, voy como profundizando un poquito más el idioma, ¿ok? I am like internalizing the, the language, English in this case, ¿ok? Uh, very good. Um, we have a little review from last week. Tenemos un pequeño repaso de la semana anterior. We have a little review from last week. Teacher, pero ya demasiado repaso, ¿no? Entre más repasamos, más internalizamos, ¿ok? All right. Activities at the workplace. I remember that the last week we started some activities at the workplace. Like, for example, uh, we started... Um, Okay, hold on a second. We started check email, all right? Check email, uh, call clients, read reports, write reports, attend meetings, attend a meeting, appear on the, on the book, right? Organize meetings, <clears throat> type letters, send emails, arrive early. What is arrive early? Who is arrive early? Arrive early. Arrive llegar temprano. Llegar temprano. Llegar temprano. Llegar temprano. Llegar temprano, exactly. Arrive early. Arrive late is the opposite. Es lo contrario. Arrive late. Llegar tarde, mm -hmm. right? Arrive okay. late. Uh, go to work. Ir al trabajo, a trabajar. Oh, wake up. Oh. What is wake up? Wake up. Eh, levantarse. Levantarse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Levantarse. Despertar. 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 Yes. <laughs> Remember that wake up. Despertarse y levantarse son diferentes en inglés, ¿ok? Wake up is despertarse. Yeah. Get up es levantarse, ¿ok? Get up, levantarse. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have work, ¿ok? So we have some vocabulary from the last week. La semana pasada estudiamos mm -hmm. este vocabulario, ¿ok? So, yes. take a moment and make a screenshot. Háganle una captura de pantalla porque vamos a trabajar en esto. We are going to work on this. So please make a screenshot. Solo hago una captura para que no estén copiando todo. Make a screenshot, please. O si no, no terminamos. <laughs> ok. Ready? Yep. yep. Ok, uh, now listen. <clears throat> Let's make it simple. Uh, using the vocabulary, using the vocabulary, uh, you in groups, in groups, you will write um, five questions and five negative sentences. Ok. Van a escribir cinco preguntas y cinco oraciones negativas usando los diferentes pronombres. He, she, you, we. O un sujeto. Puede ser Aida, Ellen Nielsen, uh, could be Javier and Claudia. ¿Ok? A subject. Usando diferentes sujetos. Different subjects. ¿Ok? Subject. I repeat. Five questions, cinco preguntas en five negative sentences y cinco oraciones negativas. Deben tener las mismas, todo el, todo el equipo debe tener las mismas preguntas y las mismas oraciones, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah. Using the vocabulary, usando ese vocabulario que les di ahorita. Any question? No? no. Only questions, no answers, ¿ok? Solo preguntas, no respuestas. Only questions, no answers. Only questions. Only questions. So, is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, we yes. are. All right, perfect. So let's make five groups. And let's go to work. I will give you like five minutes, seven minutes. Le voy a dar siete minutos, okay? Seven minutes y luego en siete para que lleven el tiempo ustedes. So you take the time, porque a veces nos podemos a platicar y nos detenemos en un ejemplo y discutimos ese ejemplo y se nos va el tiempo, okay? And that's okay. But please consider time. Consideremos el tiempo, seven minutes for this activity. Ready, set, Practice. I I couldn't. I will send you to a group. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Let's, go. Let's go. I'm sorry. I I hadn't pushed the right button. <laughs>
uh, check email, call clients. Las, las cheque Gmail, call clients, real report, ese, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, ¿Cuántas dice una de que cada tenés? una? Una de cada una, dice. Sí. Mm. Eh, teacher, eh, por ejemplo, la de Wendy checks email every day sería. No. Yeah, but yeah, but that's positive. I said. Five questions and five negative sentences. Cinco preguntas y cinco oraciones negativas. Maybe you ah, can okay. say uh, Jamie does not. Okay? Check email y luego lo que dijiste, okay? Does not. Ah, para okay. ser el negativo. Okay? To make ah, okay. Negativo. Okay, thank you. Okay. Entonces este sería, digamos, suponiendo Wendy check Gmail eh, tomorrow No uh, Remember, recordemos que si usamos Tomorrow ya estoy hablando de una actividad en futuro Y el presente simple es para Actividades que regularmente Hacemos, no para actividades futuras ¿Ok? Así que en vez de decir Tomorrow okay. mejor digo un día de la semana Un Mondays, o tal vez una expresión De las que, estudiam de la que uh -huh. estudiamos Daily, weekly I don't know, ok pero son ah, ok, Wendy, say, uh, email Sunday. Yeah, it's okay. Sunday. But, but listen, Wendy. Uh, five negative and five questions, ok? Cinco negativas. Y en negativo uso does not or do not, ok? Ok. Yeah. So sería Wendy does not check email on Sundays, for example. Does sería... not. Uh -huh, does not. Wendy. Uh, does not that, that, not, not check email check, on Sundays check. Sure. yes tell me Marvin this example is a um, sería respuesta as negative sí verdad la yeah. respuesta negativa. Porque, mm -hmm. si sería una, porque dice que está, tenemos que hacer preguntas. No, no, no. They're separate. Van separadas. Cinco preguntas y cinco oraciones negativas. No son las respuestas a las preguntas. ¿Ok? Hello, Marvin. Okay. Sí, es... uh, yes, Marvin. Ah, ok. Ajá, serían cinco preguntas y cinco oraciones negativas. Son separadas, ¿ok? Esas oraciones negativas no son la respuesta a las preguntas. No, son separadas. They're separate. Ok, continue. Continuemos. Continue, please. No sé si es mi internet. Yes. Si allí pudiera ser... Eh, por ejemplo, podría ser este la otra que podría ser es este Javier eh, Javier and es Javier don't don't call client. Uh, rec recuerden eh, que cuando se usa he, she, no se usa el don't, se usa el doesn't, ¿ok? Lo que les expliqué, si gustan, revisen otra vez la información del presente simple para que no les cueste, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Ajá. Yeah. Sí. Sería Javier doesn't, Wendy, o Javier does not, ¿ok? Don't es para los pronombres plurales, dijimos, para el you, we, they, ¿ok? Sería Javier, Javier da ser call clients. Exactly. Exactamente, okay. exactly. How many? How many? Usted va a hablar de Gilmar, vea. Ajá. 
Entonces, how many does Hilma? How many call does Hilma? No, no, no. How, how many? Ah, no. Si quieren, si quieren usar how many está bien, pero en esta clase de preguntas no, no tienen que usar how many, ¿ok? Ah, no, se puede. Ah. Solo does o do, ¿ok? Ah, does, okay. for example, does he march an email daily? Solo eso, ¿ok? Uh -huh. or, no, ok. Or do we, ¿ok? Do we uh, type reports uh, weekly? ¿Ok? Ok. Ya, yeah, preguntas cerradas, close questions. Ok. Yeah. Do you go to work? Yeah, it's okay. Do you go to work? It's okay. You can say daily. But, but, mm -hmm. but he is in the tour of Irma. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Irma. Uh, your question, please. Yo ya tengo dos, bueno, tengo las dos, dos preguntas. Read, please. Léalas, por favor. Ok. Yo tengo. Yo sí las, las he escrito, no sé, me corrijan si está bien o podemos, o podemos eh, eh, corregir, pues así las, las he hecho yo. Eh, um, okay. Who who organize meeting every every week? O Esa es la primera. ¿Quién, who who organize meeting every week? O sea, quién organiza el meeting, o sea, la reunión eh, todas las semanas o cada semana. Mm -hmm. La otra sería she arrive later at the office every day. La respuesta sería... Ah, no, no sería respuesta, solo, es, solo la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. She well, are Larry at the office every day. Esta es pregunta. Sí, yes. yo le puse como, como pregunta, no sé si podemos corregir algo ahí. Pues yo las oigo bien. Ajá. Who organizes meeting every every week? Who organizes? ¿Quién organiza, ¿Quién organiza el meeting, o sea, la reunión? Uh -huh. Todas las o cada semana. She arrives late at the office every day. Si si ella eh, llega uh, temprano al trabajo todos los días. Pero cuando es pregunta, no, no tiene que ir primero, does she? Das. No. No, yo creo que sí. Uh, porque, porque, eh, porque va la tercera. Sí. Question, quick question. Uh, ¿Qué usábamos para preguntas? ¿Qué, qué, qué, en la fórmula que le di, ¿qué verbos auxiliares usábamos para preguntas? En el presente simple. 
Do y das. Do exactly. Das. Usamos el do y el das dependiendo del pronombre, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Like, do you or does he or does she? Dijimos que el, la tercera persona es la que más nos mete en problemas, ¿ok? Porque okay. ponemos el das, ¿ok? Para does he or does she. So you are, you are right, Liz. Tienes razón, Liz. You are right. So Santos, you say does she. Does she arrive late at the office every day? Does she? Ah, ok, ok. She doesn't, no, she, uh, she doesn't call sí, clients. She doesn't call clients. ¿Cómo lo tiene, Claudia? Así como le dicen. Vale, la, la, la uno si no la copia. Yo, yo, no, you no, you das, you don't, don't, así era la, you la pregunta. Don't, you don't you, arrive uh, early to work. Ah, uh, you don't arrive early to work. Right. Si quieren, repasamos las preguntas y las respuestas para para practicar el vocabulario. Ok. It's ok. Preguntémosle uno al otro y el otro responde. Y así nos retamos. Sí, así. Ok. Who's a start? Sería mejor de diferente manera, ¿no? De diferente tema. No con las mismas siempre oraciones, pero no como respondiendo a las preguntas. Puede ser. Don't we play, play soccer? Como decir, ellos no juegan soccer. Así sería, ¿verdad? Don. Sí, eh, así sería. sería. They, they don't play they soccer. Don't, they don't, they don't play. play soccer. They don't play soccer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you finish the question? ¿Terminaron las preguntas? Did you finish the question? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. Continue. Yes. Otra mm. eh, Sí, doce. Mm. Podríamos ver eh, sí, doce. Este, check report o oh, 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 right report, que también no le hemos no le hemos usado. Ah, también, también. Uh -huh. ¿En afirmativo o negativo? Negativo. Negativo, ok. Se va a acabar el tiempo. Va otra. En afirmativo, um, my, my co-workers read this report. Pero como son todas negativas, ah, ah, todas negativa. son negativas. Sí. So my co-worker doesn't read the report. Uh -huh. My co-worker. Sería don't, porque co-workers uh -huh. are plural. Co-workers is plural. My co-workers don't. Ok. Y cuando es uno, doesn't. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Cuando es solo un compañero, doesn't. You say doesn't. 
no, 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 la palabra de compañero. Solo ah, coworker. Coworker, no le ponemos ese. Ajá, my coworker doesn't. Okay, everyone. Uh, maybe uh, before we uh, we listen to your questions and to your negative sentences, uh, some important things. Algunas cosas importantes. Some important uh, things. Okay. In questions, we use do and does, right? En preguntas usamos el do y el does. All right. We use do and does. For example, um, do you check email daily or does? Does she? write reports weekly, okay, or does Javier, does Javier uh, write letters daily, okay, or I can say does Marvin, okay, así tengo la pregunta, does Marvin drive, manejar, does Marvin drive every day, okay, and in negative, en negativo necesito doesn't or don't, or does not or do not, que es lo mismo, right, yeah, I can say, for example, uh, Sara does not check email daily, or Sara doesn't check email daily, que es la negativa, ¿ok? Podría decir, we, nosotros, we don't um, type reports weekly, or we do not, we do not type reports weekly, ¿ok? Así queda el negativo, ¿ok? Yeah, so this is very, very important because the idea is to use the simple present. La idea es usar el, usar, perdón, el presente simple, okay? So here I have the groups. Uh, we will listen to one member of each group. Vamos a escuchar a un miembro de cada grupo, leer dos preguntas y dos negativas, okay? So in the first group, in group number one, I have Javier, Jamie, Marvin, y Wendy. Volunteers, voluntarios de este equipo, volunteers. Javier, hey. Jamie, Marvin, y Wendy, yes? Javier, ok. Yes. Javier, please, read two questions and two negative statements. Dos preguntas y dos oraciones negativas de las que hicieron, ok. Let's listen. Ah, ok. Eh, Wendy, great report right now. Eh, this is from a affirmative y the negative. Eh, Rafael doesn't check email every day. Ok. Eh, Elenilson, perdón, does Elenilson dry tomorrow? Eh, Marvin doesn't send emails. Ok. Um, ok, just two and two, solo dos, only two and two. Ok. okay. Yeah, it's ok. Thank you very much, Javier. Ok, thank you. Uh, for everybody, para todos, ok, not only for Javier's group, ok. Uh, no olvidemos que el presente simple se usa para actividades que regularmente hacemos, ¿ok? Pero si yo digo tomorrow, ya estoy hablando de una actividad futura. Eso es different, ¿ok? La idea es usar expresiones de tiempo tales como daily o every day, weekly o every week, monthly o every month, yearly o every year, que es lo mismo, ¿ok? Porque si uso tomorrow ya es futuro. If I use tomorrow ya es futuro. Ya es un tiempo diferente. Tendría que usar una estructura diferente. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Así que tengamos cuidado con la expresión de tiempo que usamos. Necesitamos usar una expresión de tiempo que se usa en presente simple. ¿Ok? Como yearly, weekly, daily, every day. ¿Ok? Thank you very much, Javier. Ok, thank you uh, to your group. Now let's go to group number two. Vamos al equipo número dos. In group number two, we have Hilmar, Irma, Maria, and Salma. Volunteer? Go on, volunteer. I do. Okay, Salma. Let's listen to Salma. Okay. Question. Does Irma write report daily? Uh, do you work on Saturday? Uh, negative. Um, Jocelyn doesn't send email for the meeting. Uh, we don't arrive late for the dinner. Okay, that's perfect. It's excellent. Thank you very much, Salma. And thank you, group. Okay, it's perfect. Let's see uh, number three. In group number three, I have Aida, Liz, Rafael, and Santos. One volunteer, please.
Gun volunteer, Aida Liz Rafael and Santos. I need one volunteer. Aye, sir. Okay, Rafael. Thank you. Um, Jaime, do not check email. Can you repeat it, please? Can you repeat? Jaime, Jaime, do not check email. Okay, continue. Eric does not write the report. Does not the Santo check car every day? Does Javier check email? Okay, that's perfect. Okay, uh, just don't forget que no se les olvide la entonación de la pregunta. Okay, va como it's like going up, va subiendo. Okay, for example, does Santos check email? All right. Does, okay. does Maria write reports? Porque si yo digo, does Maria write reports? No es una pregunta, okay? La entonación es importante. Intonation is important, okay? Yeah, does like, Javier check email? Email, uh -huh, like, does Santos check email? Voy uh, como subiendo, yeah. okay? Al final, yeah. Does, does Santos check car every day? Yes, it's better. Much better. Mucho mejor. Much better. Okay, thank you. Uh, in the first one, if you say Jaime do not, it's incorrect. The correct is Jaime does not. That's, does. That, does that, not. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. See, Jaime does not. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Or you can say doesn't. La forma corta. The short form. Okay. Thank you very much, Rafael. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, group number four. In group number four, I have Blanca, Claudia, Ellen Nielsen, and Carla. One volunteer, please, from this group. I am. Okay, let's listen to Blanca. Okay, but we have the the easy form because we ask the question and then we we write answer. the question. The answer in negative. Okay, no, go ahead. We are the, the word in negative. Okay, it's it's okay. Uh, let's listen to, to, to Blanca. Okay, do you arrive early to work? And the, the negative sentence, you don't arrive early to work. Does Claudia attend meetings weekly? Claudia doesn't attend meetings weekly. Yeah, it's okay, it's, it's fine. Okay, thank you very much, Blanca. Okay, very good. It's correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, now let's listen to the last group, group number five. In group number five, we have Mario, Sara, and Vanessa. Uh, me parece que Jamie estaba con ellos también, no. No, no, right? Mm -hmm. Jamie estaba en el uno. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so Mario, Sara, and Vanessa, one volunteer, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's listen. let's listen to Sara. How much time do you work? What time, Carlos? Get up. Okay, Wake okay. Up, pardon. Wait. Okay. okay, repeat number two, please. What time, Carlos? Get up. Get up. Okay, or wake up. Get up or wake up. I wake up. Okay. Listen to this question. Okay, wait a minute. What time, Carlos? Wake up. ¿Qué falta? El auxiliar. El auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Uh, what is does? Does. Sería what time does Carlos wake up? El auxiliar mm -hmm. antes del pronombre, right? O el sujeto. Does Carlos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Aquí vemos que Sara está usando otra forma, ¿verdad? Está usando mm -hmm. el what time y el... Y la otra era how much, okay? How much. If I... And it's okay. Solo que le pongo what time or how, or how much pero sigo la misma estructura, do and does, ¿ok? Thank you, Sara. Okay. I can see, creo que Vanessa quería participar, que nos dé las negativas, Vanessa. The negative ones, Vane. Ok. Eh, they don't play soccer. Ok. She doesn't write report. It's perfect, ok. She doesn't write reports. Thank you very much, volunteers. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and let's react. Vamos a las reacciones y les damos una reacción a las participaciones. We give them a reaction or an emoji. 
Okay, thank you very much for your uh, participation. Okay, and now we start unit number two. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Uh, what is the name of unit number two? <laughs> what is the name of unit number two? Convincing. Mm -hmm. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of unit number two? Help me, please. I don't remember. <laughs> the ongoing on activities of the workplace. Okay, thank you, Javier. Ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. What is ongoing? What does it mean? Ongoing. What is that? Ongoing. Es eso? ongoing. Um, Check your dictionary. What is ongoing? Organizar. Mm, no, that's different. Ongoing. No. <laughs> ongoing activities. Ongoing. Check, check the dictionary. What reference? Or es lo que se está haciendo. Es lo que se está haciendo. Está en curso. O... Mm -hmm. Tell me one word. One translation. What reference? Vamos a what reference? Ongoing. Y escriban ongoing. El presente continuo. Ya. Yeah. Esa traducción le da. Go to what reference. Eh, actividades okay. en curso o como en marcha o que continúa, ¿verdad? Ah, exactly. 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 Ongoing is like saying, okay, let me see what I have. I have the idea here, okay? Uh, ongoing is actividades en curso o actividades en desarrollo, podríamos decir. Okay, ongoing activities. Okay, so in other words, is activities we are doing or we do every day. Okay, so ongoing activities, actividades en curso. Okay, very good. So that is ongoing, en curso o en desarrollo. Okay, ongoing. Yeah. Ongoing activities at the workplace. So this is the name for unit number ongoing. two. Ongoing, yes. Now let's go to the first activity of unit number two. The first activity of unit number two is to answer these questions. How often do you check your email at work? What is how often? ¿Qué es how often? What is how often? Frecuencia. Ah, how often is, con qué frecuencia, o cuán a menudo, ok? Con qué frecuencia, how often. So, how often do you check your email at work? Con qué frecuencia revisas tu correo en el trabajo? And, how often do you attend meetings? Con qué frecuencia asistes a reuniones, ok? So, please answer the questions. Maybe you can say, if you ask me, Bernardo, how often do you check email at work? I can say, every day. In my case, right? Every day, todos los días. Maybe you can say um, on Mondays. I don't know. It's personal, right? On Mondays, los lunes. Okay? If you ask me, Bernardo, how often do you attend meetings? Uh, maybe I can say once a week. Una vez a la semana. Once a week. Pero pueden decir dos veces también. Twice. Or three times. Okay? O tres veces. Three times a week. Could be. Tres veces es three times, okay? Cuatro veces, four times. A week, right? Yeah. Okay, so answer the questions on your notebook. Respondamos a las preguntas en su cuaderno. Answer the questions on your notebook, please.
Evet, evet, evet. Evet, evet. If you have the manual, the questions are on page 19, okay? Las preguntas están en la página 19. The questions are on page number 19. Yes, 19. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Ready? Yes. Okay. Now, listen. Um, in this moment, the idea is to practice the questions in groups of three. Maximum, all right, or pairs, groups of two or three, maybe, okay, pairs or groups of three. Take turns, tomen turnos, take turns, okay. For example, imagine I practice with Maria and Claudia. So, first I ask Maria, primero le pregunto yo a Maria, then Maria asks Claudia, Maria, Claudia, and Claudia asks me, y Claudia me pregunta a mí, okay. Le voy a dar dos o tres minutos, two or three minutes, okay, yeah, clear. Okay, yeah. very good. Let's go then and practice. Can be a pairs or groups of three, all right? Yeah. Okay, let's go to practice. Page 19, página 19, page 19. We have the questions on page 19. What happened, Carla? Hello? Every day. Hello. Every day. Okay. Hello. Le voy a quitar Hello. a Mar, le voy a quitar a Marvin porque hay, hay una hay una persona que esté sola. Hay una persona que está sola, sola perdón. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 So um, uh, Maria and uh, Javier, you can practice. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh... Let's see. 
Okay. Okay. Yes, it's here. I don't know, once a month, I think. But once a month. Okay. How often, how often do you attend a meeting? Uh, I almost, I almost never attend. Okay. Okay, my turn. Okay. Blanca, how often do you check your email at work? I check my email at work every day before to start work. Okay. Okay. Perfect. The second one. How often? How often do you attend a meetings? Sometimes once a week on Friday mor on Friday morning. Once a week on Friday morning. Okay. Friday Excellent. Morning. Yes. Once a week. Excellent. Uh, let's continue, Santos. The same yeah. questions. Las mismas preguntas. Okay, again. Blanca. Okay. How often do you check email at work? Every day before to start work. Okay. And you, how often do you attend meetings? I attend one, I attend a meeting, one, a mock, one mock. Hello. Okay, uh, well, now we are going to listen uh, to the people who haven't participated, all right? So um, let me see. Um, mm, let me see. Rafael participated. Uh, Blanca participated. Sara participated. Salma too. Um, well, let's listen to people who haven't participated. So let's listen to uh, Santos first. Santos, um, question number one, Santos. How often do you check your email at work? Yes. You question, you question me? Yes. Okay. I, I, check, I check my email on every day. Every day. Okay, thank you. Number two, how often do you attend meetings? I attend a meeting uh, one month. Once a month. Once, once, once a month. Once a month. A month. Una vez al mes. Once a month. Okay, thank you, yeah. Santos. Thank you very much. Uh, Santos, select a classmate, please. De los que no han participado. Select a classmate. Uh, Who? Quien? Liz. Liz. All right. So uh, ask Liz the questions. Tú le preguntas a Liz. Ask Liz, please. Liz, how often do you check? Email uh, work? I check my email every day. Okay. How often do you attend a meeting? Usually once a month. Okay. Once a month. Okay. Thank you, Thank Santos you. and Liz. Liz, select someone, please. Um... Okay, um, Vanessa. All right. Uh, but Vanessa participated, sorry. De los que no han participado, from the ones who haven't participated. Oh, okay, mm, Ellen Nilsson. All right, let's listen to, uh, ask the questions to Ellen Nilsson. Okay, how often do you, Ellen Nilsson? Yes. <laughs> how often do you <laughs> check your email at work? Uh, I don't know, once a month, maybe. Okay. How often do you attend meetings? Um, I almost never attend. Okay. Okay, thank you very okay. much. Uh, Ellen Nielsen, select the last participate, the last um, person to participate. 
Okay. A boy by preference. A boy, okay. Yes. L let me see. Uh, Marvin. Okay. Very good. Ask Marvin. <laughs> Marvin. Ask <me. laughs> okay. Um, how often do you check your email at work? Yes, I check emails every day. Every day. Okay, perfect. And how often do you attend meetings? I attend meetings uh, twice a week. Twice a week. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and give participations a reaction. Vamos a reacciones. Go to reactions, okay? And give them a reaction. So, thank you very much for your participation. I appreciate that. Well, we appreciate your, your participation, okay? So, thank you. Good. Uh, let's go to the second uh, activity. And on the second activity, the same on page number 19, we have a conversation, okay? And in this conversation, we have the use of how often, okay? We can see the use of how often. What is how often, dijimos? Guess how often? Con qué frecuencia? Con qué frecuencia? Cuán a menudo, right? Right? Con qué Very good. So we have a conversation here, okay? So we have how often do you check your email? It says every two hours. Every, what is every? ¿Qué era every, dijimos? Every two hours. What is every? Cada dos Siempre. horas. A cada. Es each. A cada. Okay, es como decir each. Each is every. Okay, each dijimos que era cada, right? Each is every. Uh -huh. Every two hours, cada dos horas. And you? Well, I try. What is I try? What is trato. I try? Tratar. Yo trato, yo intento. Okay, yo trato de revisarlo. Okay. I try to check it as often as I can. Es as often as. Uh, it would be tan a menudo tan, como, como, puedo. como puedo. Tan a menudo como puedo. O tan frecuente como puedo hacerlo, right? Okay. Uh -huh. As often as, tan frecuente o tan a menudo como puedo. Okay. Good. How often do you call your clients? Is easy. I often call them once a week on Monday. Okay. Una vez a la semana. Uh, but I usually. What is usually? ¿Qué es usually? Usualmente. Usualmente, all right? Es como decir regularmente, regularly. Regularmente, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? <laughs> yes, always. Miren qué, qué forma de responder a how often. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> always, right? What is always? Siempre. Siempre, exactly. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning, okay? I believe... I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. What is your right? Estás en lo correcto. Estás en lo correcto. Oh, es correcto. Tienes razón, es, es correcto. Okay, you are right. You are right. Tienes razón. You are right. Estás en lo correcto. You are right. Okay, so every is like each. Every two hours, okay? Every two weeks. Cada dos semanas. Every two weeks, all right? I try, yo intento, o yo trato, ok? Mm -hmm. As often as, tan a menudo como puedo, as often as I can, all right? Once a week, once, dijimos que era una vez, right? ¿Cómo se dice dos veces? Twice. 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 Twice, twice. twice a week, dos veces por semana, ok? Twice a week. Very good. And now listen carefully to the pronunciation, please. Listen carefully and pay attention to pronunciation. And let's repeat. Listen and repeat with microphones off. Escuchemos okay. y repitamos con micrófono apagado, okay? For no interference. Pero quiero verlos repitiendo. I want to see you repeating. Okay? Okay, solo déjenme maximizar aquí para poder estar viendo que están repitiendo. To see you are repeating. I just want to make sure you are repeating, okay? Okay, let's begin. 
So listen and repeat, please. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? How often? How often? Every two hours, and you? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Mondays. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Order, order, order. Okay, let's continue. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. It is. It is, it is. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. You are right. Okay, uh, well, the conversation is on page number 19, all right? So uh, let's listen to some participations, okay, say in the conversation. So first, the people who haven't participated. So let's listen to, um, let me see here, Rafael participated, Javier too. Oh, let's listen to Claudia, Claudia hasn't participated, and Irma, okay, Claudia and Irma. So Claudia, you are John and Irma, you are Anne. All right? All right. Uh, okay. How, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often I, I can. How often do you call your clan? I often call. Then once a week on Monday. Uh, but I usually come then on the Friday, Friday to check the order to use call line. Yes. Call line. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, always keep them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them at the time. Uh, you are right. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. All right, now let's listen to. Let me see. Wendy hasn't participated. Okay, let's listen to Wendy and, and, and Jamie. Okay. So, Wendy, uh, oh. you are John, and Jamie, you are Anne. Okay. How okay. often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? We need we need to check it as often as and and what often do you call your clients? I often call call them one week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check they all do you call clients 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 yes I yes I always call team first with in the morning he live in no you're right. Well, no. Eleven per, 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 is inform import to have a counter with ten called ti day. You you are right. You are right. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yes? The assistance teacher. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, my goodness, I forgot. Thank you, Rafael. So uh, let's listen to a last participation and then I pass the attendance. Escuchamos una última participación y luego la paso. Aida and en, 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 en Nilsson, all right? Ellen Nilsson, John, Aida and. Okay, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it. Sorry, I try to check it as often as, as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you very much for your um, participations. And thank you, Rafael, for telling me about the attendance. Ya había olvidado la asistencia. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you very much. Okay, I, I forget sometimes. Okay, Aida? Hello? Present. Okay. Blanca? Present. Carlos? Claudia? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Present. Ilmar? Present, teacher. Irma? Present, teacher. Javier? Present, teacher. Jamie? Present. Carla? Hi, Carla. Better connection? Present. Okay. Thank you. Maria? Present. Mario? Present. Marvin? Present. Uh, Rafael? Present, teacher. Robinson? Salma? Present, teacher. Santos? Present, teacher. Sara? Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. 
Liz. Present teacher. And Vanessa. And Vanessa. <laughs> ah, okay. You are asleep, Vanessa. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, so listen, um, I, I don't know how much information you remember from the conversation, but I guess you remember the information, right? So I have some questions about the conversation, okay? Tengo algunas preguntas acerca de la conversación. I have some questions about the, about the conversation, okay? So question number one is, how often does Anne check email? So question number one, how often does Anne check email in the conversation? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Every two hours. Every two hours. Every two hours. hours. Every two hours. hours. Very good. Hours. Why is it important to check the email every day? De acuerdo a la conversación. Why? ¿Por qué es importante? Why is important to check email every day? The client. Sorry? For the client. For the time. Client. Clean. Okay, it says right here. Okay, uh, it is important to have contact. Oh, no, no, we don't have the information here. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it is important mm -hmm. to have contact with clients, right? That's the answer. Okay. Client. It's important to have contact with clients <laughs> all the time. Okay. Very good. Uh, that's excellent. Now, listen. Um, let me stop sharing here and let me share something else. For the next part, I need full attention, okay? Para la siguiente parte, necesito que estén bien concentrados. I want you to be really concentrated, okay? Please, now listen. Normally, normalmente, normally, um, we have, uh, cuando hacemos preguntas using how often, when we have questions using how often, okay? Hay formas de responder. We have ways to... To answer, okay? Cuando la pregunta es how often? How often? Okay, hold on a second. When the question is how often? We have ways to answer. Tenemos forma de responder. So we can answer using always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever or rarely or never, okay? So these are frequency adverbs. Estos son adverbios de frecuencia. Si me preguntan, por ejemplo, Bernardo, how often do you check your email? And I say, for example, right? I can say, for example, um, I normally check email. Significa que hay 80% de frecuencia con que yo hago eso, okay? I normally check email, but imagine I never check email. Imagínense que yo nunca lo reviso. And you ask me, Bernardo, how often do you check your email? And I say, I never check my email. All right? If you ask me, Bernardo, how often do you write reports? In my case, I hardly ever write reports. In my case, right? Raramente, casi nunca, okay? I hardly ever okay. write reports. But you can say, pero ustedes pueden decir, I always write reports, okay? Or I sometimes write reports, a veces, okay? Sometimes, twice a week, maybe, una vez o a la semana, dos veces al mes, I don't know, all right? Yeah? So, these adverbs, they express frequency, expresan con qué frecuencia hago algo. And we have the percentages. Y aquí tenemos los porcentajes de frecuencia, ¿ok? Always is the most frequent. Es el más frecuente. Usually is the second less frequent. Es el segundo más frecuente. The second most frequent. Normally is the third most frequent. Es el, ter es el tercero más frecuente. Often, el cuarto más frecuente. Sometimes es el que está como en medio de todos. Is in the middle, all right? Occasionally, ya es menos frecuente, ocasionalmente, right? Seldom is like casi nunca, all right? Uh, entre seldom y hardly ever or rarely, casi no hay mucha diferencia. Eh? Se usan casi lo mismo. We use them almost the same, okay? Good. What is the position in the sentence? De acuerdo a los ejemplos que tenemos ahí, 
¿Cuál es la posición de los adverbios de frecuencia en la oración? What is the position? ¿Dónde After usa? the pronoun. After the subject. Los usamos después del sujeto. After the sujeto. Subject. subject. After the subject. Después del sujeto. Yes. So, what is the structure? Subject. Frequency adverb. El verb. Y el complement. Ok. Again. Sujeto. Subject. Frequency adverb. Verb, el verbo y el complemento, en the complement. In the same structure for all the examples, ¿ok? La misma estructura para todos los ejemplos, ¿ok? Do you have any question? Questions? Questions? I have a question. What is um, your question? Uh, I, I can, uh, no, I may usually use any one of them yes according to the frequency de acuerdo a la frecuencia according. con lo que hacemos algo mm -hmm. it depends on the oh, frequency okay. por ejemplo for example okay. um, attend meetings asistir a reuniones mm -hmm. con qué frecuencia asisten a reuniones how often mm -hmm. do you attend meetings mm -hmm. en, digamos like pongámoslo, say, en el, pongámoslo en el mes in the month In the month. How often do you attend meetings during the month, in the mes? Uh, for example, for me, every day. Every day. So you yeah. say always. Yeah, I always attend. Attend meetings. Attend meetings. Yeah, I always attend meetings, okay? okay. Uh, anyone else? Alguien más? Um, I can... Okay, okay. I Javier first. Okay, Javier, let's listen to Javier and then Blanca. Javier? Okay. Uh, seldom. Seldom. I, it? Seldom. Seldom, seldom. I, I, I seldom attend. I, I seldom attend meetings. Uh, meetings. Meetings. Okay. Siguiendo la estructura, right? Sujeto, ad frequency adverb, luego el verbo que es attend y el complemento que es meetings. I, I seldom attend meetings, okay? Uh, Blanca, thank you, Javier. I occasionally attend meetings. Very good, that's excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, now let's check the vocabulary here. Revisemos el vocabulario que tenemos acá. Get up. What is get up? Get up. Levantarse. Levantarse, right? Despertarse? Wake up. Uh, wake up is different, right? It's different, okay? So get up is levantarse, wake up, despertarse. What is drive? Manejar. 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 ¿Por qué tiene ese el verbo? Ah, ya saben, ¿verdad? Porque ah. estamos usando tercera persona aquí. He sí. usually drives to work. Aunque estemos usando el verbo de el, el adverbio de frecuencia, siempre lleva ese el verbo, ¿ok? It doesn't matter. Uh, check email. It's easy, right? What is have breakfast? Have Desayunos. breakfast. Desayunar. Desayunar. Yes. Okay. Have breakfast is desayunar. So I often have breakfast. Yo a menudo desayuno. Have breakfast, desayunar. Ok. Good. Um, si se fijan la traducción aquí, literal podría ser tengo el desayuno. Pero yo digo desayunar de un solo. Right? It's unnecessary to, de, to say tengo el desayuno. Ok. Yo desayuno. Yo a menudo desayuno. Ok. Good. Uh, use, use the microwave. What is use the microwave? Usar el microondas. Usar el microondas, right? ¿Por qué le pongo ese? Ah, porque tengo chi. Ok, chi sí. sometimes uses the microwave, ok? Lo que hemos estudiado, what we have started. Uh, work, what is work? Trabajar. Trabajar, trabajar. Uh, take calls. Tomar llamadas. Recibir o tomar llamadas, right? I seldom take calls at work. Yo casi nunca recibo llamadas en el trabajo. ¿Ok? Um, what is has? Tener. Tener, tener. tener. Ah, teacher, pero que have no es tener, teacher. Ahí ya me confundió. ¿Ok? Para el he y el she usamos el has. ¿Ok? Que es la otra forma de have. ¿Ok? He rarely has conferences. ¿Ok? And then we have get late. What is get late? I never get late to work. 
tarde. Llegar es tarde. Verdad. Llegar tarde. Llegar tarde, ¿ok? I never get late to work. Nunca llego tarde al trabajo o a trabajar, ¿ok? Get late, llegar tarde. Good. So this is the vocabulary we have. Si quieren, escriban el vocabulario nuevo en su cuaderno. Les voy a dar un espacio de unos tres minutos para que lo tengan ahí. El get up, que es levantarse, ¿ok? Drive. Get up is levantarse, ¿ok? Drive is manejar. Drive is manejar. Have breakfast, desayunar. Have breakfast, desayunar. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Hey. Hey, teacher, and how do you pronounce he rarely has Rare. come? You say rarely, 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 okay. rarely. Yeah, rarely. With an E. Yes. With the, okay. Yeah, with, a, with an E at the end, rarely, Lee. okay? Good. Uh, well, microwave is, microwave is microondas, right? Microwave. Ah, here. Overtime. What is overtime? ¿Qué es overtime? Any overtime. idea? Tiempo extra. Tiempo extra. Horas extra. Horas extra. Horas extra. Tiempo extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Overtime. En Estados Unidos se usa okay. bastante ese término. Overtime. I work okay. overtime. Horas extra. O tiempo extra. Take at a call center you use here. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. At a call center you use it here. ¿Qué era take calls? Eh, recibir llamadas. Recibir tomar o atender llamadas. llamadas. O tomar llamadas. Okay. Well, has is easy, right? Get late. Llegar tarde. Llegar tarde, ok. I never get late. Yo nunca llego tarde. Aquí en vez de decir get, puedo poner también arrive. Ok, en este, en este caso. Get late or arrive late. That is the same. Que se refieren a lo mismo, ok. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ya escribieron el vocabulario? Yeah. Do you have the vocabulary? Yes. Okay, now now listen. Maybe uh, just to let you know, solo para Eso es importante. This is very very important. Uh, the structure is la estructura entonces sería uh, for these sentences, right? Subject plus frequency adverb, luego va el adverbio de frecuencia, frequency adverb, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we have the, the what? Verb. El verb. Luego va verb. el verbo. El verb. And then the complement. The complement. Okay. Y luego va el complemento. Okay. So, subject, frequency adverb, verb, and complement. Esa sería complement. la estructura. Okay. Yeah. That's the structure. Example. I, frequency adverb, never, uh, get late, verb. Aquí va el verbo, get late. To work que es el complement. I never get late to work. work. Okay? Just to give you one example. So esa es la estructura. That's the structure. So do we have any question about this? Preguntas acerca de esto? Questions about this? No, I don't si have. Si se fijan en la conversación, las preguntas son con how often. How often. Y seguimos la misma estructura de lo que ya les expliqué. Do you... Uh, work. How often do you work? Do you work? La misma estructura. O puedo decir, how often does she work? Uh -huh. So we follow the same structure. Seguimos la misma estructura, right? Solo le ponemos how often. Okay. So any questions? Do you have any questions? <clears throat> no, we don't. No, no questions. No, no, Ahorita pueden preguntar. You can ask questions right now. <coughs> Le voy a dejar un momento make... esta pantalla porque están copiando. Ok. Yes. I'm, I make to answer no, no, no question o. Or... Sorry, can you repeat? Question. Uh, when you ask, uh, do you have question? Uh, we can make. We may say um, no, we no don't. question or no, we don't. You can say no, we don't or yes, we do. All right. No, we don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we don't. Okay. No, that's perfect. Don't. Okay. So if you have no questions, then I have questions for you. 
Okay. <risa> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Finger okay. dedo crack, ¿no? ¿Cómo es? <risa> ya, yeah. finger pointing. Dedocrática. Finger pointing. Finger pointing. Finger okay. pointing. Okay, ah, uh, very good. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. I have no questions for you. But we are, but we will practice, okay? Pero ahorita vamos okay. a practicar esto. We will practice this, okay? How? Now listen carefully. Uh, on page 20, en la página 20, on page 20, we have this chart. Tenemos este cuadrito en la página 20, okay? 20. Exercise four, okay? And here, you need to complete this chart with a list of activities you do in a regular week. Okay, una lista de actividades que hacen en su semana regular. But please, follow the structure we have started. Sigamos la estructura que hemos estado estudiando. For example, using always. I can say I always, okay, I always, um, let me see. In my case, I can say I always give classes. Yo siempre doy clases. I always give classes. Sorry for my handwriting. Lo siento por mi forma de escribir. Es difícil con el táctil, okay? It's very hard. Often. I can say I often, I often um, check, I often check email, for example, okay? Yeah. So five sentences about your activities, your regular activities at work. Okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Si no tienen el material fotocopiado, lo hacen en su cuaderno. So one using always, one using often, one using sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Real information, información real. Real information, please. Don't say I never attend meetings. Y tienen, reas, y tienen reuniones hasta dos veces por semana. No. Real information, please. Información real. Real information. ¿Y cómo se diría eh, cada ocho días? Um, en vez de decir cada ocho días, ¿cuál, cuál, ¿cuál adverbio de frecuencia puedo utilizar según la frecuencia que estoy viendo? Maybe you can say, um, sorry? Weekly. Okay, let me see. Maybe you can say, um, occasionally. Ocasionalmente. Mm -hmm. Ocasionalmente. Yeah, you can say, I occasionally, okay? Yes, gracias. Okay, no problem. Vean la frecuencia ahí, ¿ok? Look at the frequency.
Cuando terminen, por favor, van a reacciones y levantan su mano, ¿ok? Please, do me that favor. When you finish. Okay, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute. Okay, um, thank you very much. So uh, you were supposed to write at least five activities, right? Okay, using the frequency adverbs, always uh, you had usually, I think, and, and you had five frequency adverbs, five frequency adverbs, okay? And these activities are about you, are about your information, okay? Are about the activities you do regularly, okay? So, uh, in this moment, it's time to share. Es momento de compartir. It's time to share. Okay? So, listen. I will make groups of four or five. Okay? Vamos a hacer equipos de cuatro. And in the groups, take turns sharing your sentences. Toman turnos para compartir sus oraciones. The idea is that you help each other. La idea es que se ayuden mutuamente. Si alguien ha cometido un error, the rest help him or her. Los demás le ayudan. Okay? Yeah? Questions? No? No questions? Okay. Let's go to working groups then. So take turns sharing, please. Toman turnos para compartir, por favor. Okay, let's go.
early fi the final sentence. Repeat again, please. I rarely leave work early. Early. Leave yes, leave is leave is better. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Who is next? I, 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 I'm. I always drink coffee in the morning. Oh, excuse me. I, I change. I always visit clients. <laughs> Uh, I often write WhatsApp to the claims. Mm -hmm. I and, and this I have a down because uh, I put some time I have a lunch with my co-worker because I don't know is I sometimes uh, I sometimes have lunch with my co-worker. I. Hardly ever I arrive late, late to work. I never miss to work. This is my fine. Who's in it? I. <laughs> I. Okay. I always have a meeting in the morning. Did you finish? I was <laughs> Did you finish? Ya terminaron? Did you finish? No, estamos esperando mm, a que Wendy termine. Ah, okay, okay. In the meantime, you can share uh, what you have. Mientras tanto, pueden compartirlos. Si ya, si ya terminaron algunos, luego que comparta el que no ha terminado, okay? Please. Okay. To advance, para avanzar, to advance. Sí, si quiere volver, lo vuelvo a decir yo, Vanessa, usted no sé. Take the, the to, oh, de tomar. Okay. Sí, sí. I correcto. always take a shower every yeah. day. That is correct. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Solo el take te hacía falta. Uh -huh, Así okay. yo, yo tomo un baño. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Continue. I, I, often, I often drive a work. I sometimes go to the beach. I hardly never let it get up. I never get, get let it to, to work. Nunca llego tarde al trabajo. <laughs> get late. I never get late to work. Never get late to work. work. Yes. Who? Oh, Jamie. Jamie. How would Jamie turn? Hola, fíjense que voy manejando y casi no puesto atención, pero no sé qué, qué si eh, tendríamos, teníamos que sacar del libro, ¿verdad? Bueno, del material, las preguntas y responderlas, o sea, pasarlas a, a personalizarlas, o cómo. En la actividad había que poner los adverbios que frecuentamos eh, ocupando el eh, always, often, sometimes, hardly, ever y never. Son los, son los que íbamos a ocupar eh, eh, con las actividades diarias que hacemos.
Okay, now, um, listen, listen, please, listen carefully. Can you listen to me? ¿Me escuchan bien? Can you listen to me well? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, now listen. I will give you five more minutes, okay? But in these five minutes, the idea is that you listen to your classmates' activities again. And when we come back, cuando regresemos a la sesión acá, después de que hayan escuchado a sus compañeros, les voy a preguntar. Pero ustedes van a reportar no sus actividades, sino las actividades de sus compañeros, ¿ok? Not your activities, your classmates' activities. For example, no van a decir, I always check email in the morning. No, van a decir, Liz often checks no, email thanks. on Monday. Not about you, about a classmate. No acerca de ustedes, sino acerca de un compañero. ¿Ok? So listen to your classmates and take notes. Escuchen y de ser posible toman notas. Take notes. ¿Ok? Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Ok, I will ask you randomly. Cuando vengan acá les voy a preguntar aleatoriamente. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer una rifa, creo yo. We are going to make a raffle. ¿Ok? So please, listen and take notes. Escuchan y toman notas. ¿Ok? Listen and take notes. ¿Ok? Okay. Al menos deben tener actividades de uno o dos compañeros. Like two or three activities, okay? Yeah? Okay. All right, yeah. perfect. You will go with the same groups. Vamos con los mismos equipos. Go with the same groups, okay? Let's go. What happened? Uh, uh, what happened? One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Blanca, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Blanca. Start. Oh, okay. I always call clients. I often check my email. I sometimes attend meetings. I hardly ever write a report. Uh, don't forget, if it's about Blanca, ya el verbo lleva ese. Si es acerca de Blanca, ya el verbo lleva ese, right? She seldom checks. Yes, sir. Text email, all right? So don't forget the S. Que no se les olvide la S. Don't forget the S, all right? Please. Yes. Thank you. I got a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, what it means seldom? Seldom. I, I would not... say seldom is like hardly ever. They have almost the same frequency. Tienen casi la misma frecuencia que hardly ever. Casi nunca. Okay. Rara vez. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Teacher, vamos a escribir okay. solamente dos o tres de nuestros compañeros porque somos varios o tenemos que escribirlas todas. Like two or three sentences, dos o tres oraciones, two or okay. three sentences. Mm -hmm. It's enough. Who's the next one? Ok, Rafael. Ok. I always get up at 12. Always. 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 Get up. Always. Get up. Get up. At four forty-five. Next one. I never, I never arrive to work. You never. I never arrive. 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 Yeah. 
tengo las, las primeras. Bueno, en, the first is the Santos take a shower every day, right? Yeah. Santos always. No. Always takes a shower. Yeah. Santos. Ah, ok. Uh, Santos shower. always take a shower every day. Mm -hmm. Every day in the morning. Okay. Ah, don't forget the S. Yes. Yeah. Que no se les olvide la S en el verbo porque están hablando en tercera persona, ok? Santos always yeah. takes the S, yes, right? Takes. takes a shower, ok? Ah, ok. So don't forget the yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, boy. Dice, I do some time later to her work, para decir, para su trabajo, a su trabajo. Repeat it, please. Aida. Aida some time later to her work. Oh, no, yo creo que no. What do you want to say? Aida sometimes. Que llega gets, tarde. Ah, gets a su trabajo. Late. Gets Get late, late to work. Gets late to work, exactly. Aida sometimes no. gets late to work. No es necesario que ponga el hair de ella. No, no, de it's suyo. not necessary. No, because you're saying no. Aida. Ah, you want to say to her work. A su trabajo. No. To her work. Yeah, you can say to her work. También se puede. To no. her work. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's possible. Okay. Es posible. It's possible. En el caso de Marvin, sería Marvin often checks emails. Yes. En <laughs> Javier always wakes up uh, for. 30 a.m. Javier. Eh, ¿Cuál dijiste vos, Javier? Perdón. No, no. Did you take notes? ¿Ya tomaron notas? Did you take notes? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh my God, you're so quick. Son bien rápidas ustedes y rápidos porque tenemos a Mari. You are so fast. <laughs> you are fast and furious. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, uh, just before uh, you chair, let me pass the attendance the last time. Antes de que compartan, voy a pasarles asistencia la última vez. Let me pass the attendance the last time, okay? Aida? Present. Blanca? Present. Very good. Carlos? Claudia? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Present, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Uh, Hilmar? Present teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Javier? Present. Jamie? Present. All right, Carla? Present. Uh, Maria? Present. 
Very good. Mario? Present. Uh, Marvin? Present. Marvin? He's here. Okay. <laughs> good. Uh, Robinson? No se nos conectó Robinson hoy. Salma? Present. Very good. Santos? I'm here, teacher. Sara? Present, teacher. Very good. Wendy? I'm here, teacher. Uh, Liz? Present, teacher. And Vanessa? Vanessa, hello, are you there? Bueno, anyways, creo que tuvo problemas de conexión. Ok, uh, very good. Uh, no les quiero, no, no quiero, no quiero quitar. I'm sorry. Uh, Rafael. Present. Ok, I'm sorry, Rafael. I'm really sorry about that. Ok, uh, very good. Um, it's ten one already. Es, es hora, it's time. Um, vamos a compartir... Mañana, ok, y va a ser acerca de sus compañeros So please have the sentences ready Tengan las oraciones ahí No las vayan a borrar y no vayan a arrancar esa paginita Ok, so have the sentences There, please Ok, uh, y solo antes okay. de, que, de que nos salgamos de la sesión eh, Solo quiero recordar Que para esta semana eh, Tenemos en la plataforma Tenemos dos cosas que hacer, verdad eh, Adelantando un poquito Quizás eh, recuerden que para la segunda semana tenemos que completar la sección 2 o la semana 2, si así quieren llamarle, y también el midterm o el examen medio. Son dos cosas, ¿ok? Para que se vayan programando. Que van a completar okay. la sección 2 y el examen medio, ¿ok? Son dos cosas las que hay que hacer. Midterm. El midterm exam, ¿ok? Eh, básicamente okay. solo eso. Eh, well, thank you for connecting today. Good night and sure, see you. Good sure. night. Sure. Sí, sí, sí. Good night. Good night. Good yes. night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Solo good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ok, Santos. Puedes quedarte y me haces la consulta, Santos. No hay problema. No problem. Ok, goodbye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ah, oh, Santos es el. Ok.
Mm-hmm. 